Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a go at making a rainbow. Here we've got a nice tree in a field and wouldn't it be nice to have a rainbow over the top of it? Um, yeah, I know it's a bit of a blue sky, but maybe it's raining elsewhere, but we'll put the rainbow in there and, and see how it goes. The way we're going to do this, we're going to start off with a rectangle here. If it's not showing on the here, you can right click on this and get it from there. It's going to be over the top of the tree, so let's put it on here where it's going to go. Just make sure the middle, just kind of put the pit in the middle where we want the rainbow to be. Uh, and we're going to pull down the other sides later. First of all, though, we want to put the colours across here for the rainbow. So for this, we're going to go to the gradient tool, in which we're going to click on the colour here go down to um, oops, to gradient, there we go, and the type is linear, that's great, and we click on the left node, the node we've got selected, it's got a bigger circle, see that's slightly smaller, change the colour here, and we'll go to red to start off with here, we can approximate on the, the big map there and then tidy it up here, there we go, that's red. Then to get the next node, we click on the line there. Then we're going to get orange. So that's going to be round about here. So blues down, greens in the middle is about that. And there we go, this orange. Uh, and make sure, remember to, to, if you want to start each node here, because if I started changing the color for the next color, it would go onto this node. So make sure you've got the color selected. So that's yellow. So that's going to be in here. So that there's red and green up and blue down. Red, orange, yellow, green. And click on green. So that's green up and the other's down. Blue. Uh, blue in there. So blue up. Make sure the other's down. Green, blue, um, this indigo and violet stuff is always a bit odd, isn't it, for rainbows. Um, where it comes from is Isaac Newton, uh, when he was coming up with names for the colour of the rainbow, he liked the number seven because it was had this sort of like mystical magic thing. Um, even though he was a scientist, he was also kind of a bit superstitious too. Um, and so he turned purple into indigo and violet, though you could have just a purple one at the end. But let's let's be nice to Mr. Newton and put one in. So next node we want then is a sort of darker purple one. Oh, look what I did there. I put it on top of the blue. I didn't select a new node, did I? So we need to go back to make that one blue again. Then we'll select another one. There we go. Now let's select one about out here. Make this sort of a darker one. There we go. That'll do. And the end one is going to be the violet. We'll make that sort of slight lighter one. That'll do. There we go. Okay, so now what we can do is look at the, the rainbow here and you know we've got it going horizontally here. We'd like to make it go vertically. And we can draw that across here and get that wiggle up little bit then to get that level. It's a bit of a fiddle of this, isn't it? There you go, that'll do. Then I could go back in here and redistribute this, but this'll do. So what I want to do now is to bend this rectangle here over the top. And for that I can either have the mesh tool mesh warp tool down here. So for this I right click on here and select the mesh warp if it's not already visible there. Now what happens is because the mesh only works on a pixel layer the assistant came up with a little flashed up a message there saying I have changed that from a rectangle to a pixel layer so it's kind of helping you out. First thing to do with this is to anchor the bit over the top of the tree this is going to stay where it is so I click once and there's a transparent circle Click again and it draws a line. This will anchor these because now I'm going to pull these down here 
I'm going to pull this down here. I'm also going to take this node here and bend this upwards there to make it's going to make it into a semicircle. And take this one and put that one down there. And bend this up. Oops. There we go. Okay. Bit tricky there to get the semicircle. And we can pull this up and down to make sure there's you've got kind of parallel lines around there. Bring this one down and bring it to the same level as the one below. And bring this one up. And this one over as well. There we go, about the same width. And this one up. And it's not very semicircular, so what we do to do is go to the, the, the top here, and these lines here, if we stretch these out, they'll make it nice and round. And we're going to go about at the same amount either side. And the same at the bottom. Here we go. And here we go. Okay. We'll leave it like that. We can play around with, with it where you want it to end up and so on. But that's, you know, pretty much where, where we're going to get to. So um, a thing to remember as well when doing this gradient is that the top, the outside of the rainbow is red and the inside is purple. You can always put another one on top as well. Um, do a double rainbow with the second one fainter. And for that one, it's reversed. The red is on the bottom and the purple is above. So this looks nice. We pl click apply here. Remember to click apply, otherwise it'll go all funny. And there we are. Let's fix that down. And now we'd like to make this, you know, it's, this looks like something out of Disney, doesn't it? So let's make it a bit more realistic. And for this, we need to blur it. So we'll go to the live filters here and go to the Gauss Gaussian blur. And we'll bring this up. Then we can increase the radius of this. Now this is looking a lot better, isn't it? There we go. So that's pretty blurry. We've got it as a live filter, so it stays there. We can always go back and blur it a bit more. Then we'll take this layer and to make it blend in a bit better, we'll go to the blend modes, go to normal here and go down to some of the lighter ones. That's a bit too light. Screen. This is often, screen's often a good one here. Is that okay? Maybe it's, uh, is that a bit dark? No, that's, you, you can, let's just leave it on normal for now. Well, let's try just taking the opacity down instead. Bring that down a bit so we can still got a bit more colour in the rainbow. There we go. That'll do. Oh, there's our rainbow. One more thing we can do to make it more realistic. If you remember when you looked at a rainbow, it's sort of lighter on the inside than it is on the outside. Simple way to do this. Add a pixel layer in the middle here. Take a simple paintbrush here. Painting black. This is going to be a bit black here, so let's take the opacity down somewhat, say around 20 odd percent. And then we'll paint the outside to make it a little bit darker. There we go. There you go. And there's our picture of a rainbow. We can always play around more and change the brightness and the contrast and so on. But that's the basic principle. You make a rainbow by putting down a rectangle, put a gradient across it, put all the colours in and then bend it with the mesh warp. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that one and thank you very much for watching.